Well, good Sunday evening. I'm Leslie Money. And good evening, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. Welcome to KKL 9 News at 10, streaming live right now on CBS News Los Angeles. The race for mayor of Los Angeles is heating up ahead of the June primary. And tonight, the top five candidates faced off during a debate at Cal State LA. The hot topics, homelessness and crime. Here's KKL 9's Rick Montanez. These mayoral candidates took on everything from crime and homelessness to the economy and clean energy. They brought different ideas and, of course, some of them took some jabs. The top five polling candidates for the next mayor of Los Angeles facing off in another debate, this time hosted by ABC7, the League of Women Voters, and the Pat Brown Institute for Public Affairs. Because I have to talk to my friend over there. Four career politicians and the billionaire on stage taking on topics like homelessness. We have to have more tools in our tool chest to give the services that would get that person the kind of help that they need and require that person to get the help that they need. We have a mental health drug epidemic on our streets today. And for those who don't, we cannot allow them to pitch a tent knowing that there are places to go, knowing that there are safer locations. This is where the failure has been in the private sector as well as the government sector, at the federal level, at the county level, and the local level, because we haven't built the housing to move folks from the streets into the housing that they deserve. When I'm there, there's going to be this approach to the street, saying to a homeless person, the streets are not safe for you here, we have a place for you to go, but there's a choice date after which you can't stay here. I also do not believe that it is freedom for people to be profoundly mentally ill on the street. Then came the topic of crime, specifically hate crimes in Los Angeles. I'm the only candidate who's actually taken a hate crime report and is investigated and followed up on hate crime reports. What we're not going to do is one candidate that's not here. We're not going to demolish and decimate the police department. But we have to use our power to make sure that we send a very clear message that all Angelinos are welcome in the great city. The city I want to run is someone who has the, is a place where we all feel the courage to protect each other, to show that we are so much better when we're united as a community. Even though we know there has been a rise in hate crimes, I bet it's even been bigger than we think, that people are not necessarily reporting hate crimes. And so I think that they need to be prosecuted. I think that, that we need to hold people completely accountable. Here's the problem. You don't have enough officers on the street. My plan is to add 1,500 officers. The current leadership of City Hall, what did they do? They reduced the police budget. All sharing a vision for what L.A. could be under their leadership. For the most part, agreeing on topics of concern from green energy and job creation, necessities they're promising from differing viewpoints. Primary election day is June 7th. That is when the field will narrow down to just two candidates, unless one of these candidates takes more than 50% of the vote. Reporting at Cal State LA, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News. And California counties will begin mailing ballots to registered voters this week. And we're here to help as you decide. Join us this Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. on our streaming service, CBS News Los Angeles, for a special one-hour program that will highlight all the major races on the ballot with in-depth profiles on the top candidates, analysis, and information on how to register and vote. Again, just go to cbsla.com Tuesday at 6.30.